You know, this song still makes me very happy. I hope it makes you happy, too. We're looking at 6th Avenue. Looks a little lighter than usual at 923. And maybe a lot of people have already hit the road, you know, with the storm coming our way. Maybe they started to take their holiday vacation a little earlier. All right, let's talk about Whitney Houston. She holds the Guinness World Record as the most awarded female artist of all time with more than 400 career awards. This Friday, a new movie shines the spotlight on Whitney's life and iconic career. Ryan Christopher spoke exclusively to Whitney's brother Gary and his wife about the film and Whitney's legacy. Well, thanks so much, Rosanna. She was the voice. Simply Whitney Houston's life story is now being told on the big screen in I Want to Dance with Somebody. Whitney's legacy lives on from starting out as a choir girl in New Jersey to rising to become an international superstar. And it's all on the big screen. And two people who are very close to Whitney, well, they're here today in studio. Whitney's brother, Gary Houston, along with his wife, Miss Pat Houston, who is the executor of the Whitney Houston estate, along with as a producer of the film. Congratulations to the both of you and happy holidays. Thank you. Happy Thank holidays. You. To you. Absolutely. I, I just saw the movie. You watch the film and you leave the theater only with a deeper respect for one of the greatest singers of all time, your sister, your sister-in-law, Miss Whitney Houston. And you go home and you think about what she has done for, for music and what she has done for so many people. When you hear her music, what do you guys think about? You know, it's, it's fascinating even now to still, you know, to hear her music. She was so gifted and so talented and so missed. Um, she sang with such conviction, you know, and she knew how to deliver, you know, a story. And uh, I think that's why everyone loved her. And she talks about that in the film, wanting to tell a story through her music. And Gary, you toured the world for years with your sister. What was that like? And did the two of you have a favorite song that you enjoyed singing on stage together? There's so many memories that, are, that are come to my mind when I think of my, my sister. Um, her, her music never sleeps. I mean, you know, it's, it's always resonates with me in terms of my life and uh, being on stage with her, studio, uh, growing up with her, uh, my mother instilled in us uh, a certain kind of, you know, confidence. You know, it's, it's just so many uh, different memories and, and, and different thoughts that I have when, I, when it comes to Whitney and my mother, especially because that's where I got all, all my inspiration from sure. uh, when it comes to performing. And uh, it's just a it's a uh, it's great joy, you know, that I get. You know, every time I hear Whitney's music, mm. uh, it's always uh, never. It's not a. It's, it's, there's no ceiling. You mentioned your mother, and in the film, she seems like one of the strongest characters. Like, did your mom have to approve of of the casting in the film? No, I pretty much did most of of that. Oh, you did. Yeah. With the team, yes, it was. Uh, Casey Lemons did such a phenomenal job yeah. uh, with the casting. Naomi Aki. I was going to say, yeah. the star of the show. Oh my God. Yeah. You, your music isn't black enough. Look, I don't know how to sing black and I don't know how to sing white either. I know how to sing. Woo! I know that you were there for the Super Bowl scene where Whitney sings the iconic mm -hmm. Super Bowl national anthem. So what was that moment like being there on set with Stanley Tucci, with Clive Davis? It sounds like a meeting of the minds, like a master class. You know what? We, it, it was was like a master class because Clive was like the principal and we were all students and we're all sitting around Clive and he's talking about the film and his expectations oh, and boy. everyone, including Stanley, they're sitting there and they're, he, he, you know, we're listening and hanging on to every word. So it was incredible. You yeah. know, we, we, he's, he's the principal and we were the students and we took it all in, uh, you know. A living legend. Yeah. And Gary, yeah. you're about to grant us with a beautiful Christmas performance, a tribute to your sister. One of my favorite tunes and one of Whitney's favorite tunes and uh, it just speaks volumes about uh, the kind of world we're living in today and uh, very important for me to express that and to, you know, uh, be transparent with that kind of uh, love that Whitney gave the world. We're so happy that you're both here. And now a special holiday tribute from Gary Houston. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Your tide carol being sung by a choir. Dressed up like Eskimos, everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make. 
this season bright Yeah, yeah Tiny tots With their eyes on the glow Will find it hard to sleep tonight Yeah, yeah, yeah They know that Santa is on his way He's loaded lots and toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is going to spy To see if reindeers, reindeers really know how to fly And so I'm offering, yeah, this simple phrase from one to 92 although 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 it's been said many times many ways merry christmas merry merry christmas merry 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 christmas yeah 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 to you World. Yeah, let's give it up for Gary Houston one more time. Gary, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to both you and Pat. Thank, thank you, you so both much. so much for coming on the show. And I want to dance with somebody. It's in theaters December 23rd. Ro, we'll send it back on over to you. Merry Christmas. Okay, thank you so much.